Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we are looking at an accessory for it. Could be paintball, it could be airsoft, and it could be for real steel firearms. Any way you want to look at it, um, you know we're mostly about paintball and airsoft here, so we're going to kind of stick to that line of of query. Um, this is the Strike Industries Linked Curved Foregrip. So we've got um, the blue line and the FDE line right here. These foregrips are made of aluminum. I think they're 6066, uh, no, 6061 T6 aluminum. So they are extremely durable. So they're not composite, they're not plastic. They are made out of aluminum. Um, they are compatible with either key mod setups or M-Lock setups. They work for both. Uh, we have an M-Lock setup right here. So we're gonna throw one on and just give you the overall look and feel of the product itself. Now, just holding it, it is extremely well crafted. It is very, very strong feeling when you have it in your hand. Uh, again, it is made out of aluminum, so it doesn't have any wobble or flex to it or anything like that, but it just has a good overall feel to it when it's in your hands. The edges are rounded. They are not sharp or digging in or anything like that. And it's gonna offer a lot of different ways to hold whatever this is attached to. Now I'm gonna run mine, obviously with this part at the front and this part at the back. So I have just this rail system right here and this is an M-lock setup rail. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna kinda of just feel around on here and see where I like this to sit on here. And that's a little far forward for me, I think. So I'm gonna move it I'm going to drop it back. We like that. I could go there too. Yeah, I think I like that actually, right there. So when you set up this, uh, this M-Lock system, these little, these are the mounting brackets that are on here. These will pivot depending on where you have them and how high up they are. So we want to always start with the the bracket in line with the setup right here. What's going to happen is I'm going to set this up on here like this, and then I'm going to back the the screw out. And what that's going to do is it's going to lift the bracket up inside of there as I'm unscrewing it, kind of like this. As I unscrew the bracket is going to move further away and it's going to allow it to when i turn it the other direction rotate and lock into place through here so you can see the shape of this little bracket right here this little screw it's going to slide up through this slot that's cut in here because i have it in line with it and then when i rotate it the other way it's going to go from sitting like this to sitting like this and lock itself in place. So I wanna make sure that I have this down right now. You don't have to have it down, but you start, I am start with them in the down position like that. I find my spot where I'm gonna set it up and then I just look inside and I watch it. As soon as it has lifted up high enough to clear the, um, the tab on the inside. I'm gonna rotate it the other way and then I'm going to tighten it down like that. So by backing the screw out, and get my Allen key out, by backing the screw out or unscrewing it, I'm not actually backing the screw out, I'm keeping the screw in the same spot, I'm just unthreading it, which causes the other piece to raise up. As soon as it clears it, when I start to tighten, that piece will rotate and then it will lock. Um, when it rotates, let me show you with this one. Right now I'm backing it up so that it lifts up. When I rotate it, you can see it rotating right there. Because of the way that it is shaped, it cannot rotate any further. It can only rotate between being in a position where it can pass through the slot or a position to where it locks on the slot. So that's how you do it. You back it up from the pass-through position, 
once you get it to a point where it can clear the thickness of the slot, you rotate it the other way and then tighten it down and it drops down and locks itself into position. So that's how that works. It's a very ingenious setup in there. I'm going to back this one up and then tighten it down. And it's super quick to put these on if you're not explaining how to do it. And there you go. So, I mean, there's all sorts of ways that you can hold on to this. Here, 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 I don't know. I'm sure you can figure out other ways too. But it just provides a, a support system for your hand depending on how you want to stabilize whatever um, marker or device you are sticking it onto. And again, these are compatible with um, Hemlock or Keymon, either way, you can do it, doesn't matter, it's up to you. They will fit either one, but mounting and unmounting, pretty simple stuff, as long as it rotates out of the way and allows you to pull it all through. So there you go. Link curved foregrips. And two different colors right here. We've got the blue line and the FDE line. They're from Strike Industries. They are durable. They are rugged. They are easy to mount up. Uh, they are for M-Lock or Key Mod. Either way, get them on your guns. Give yourself that extra support. Get it at ansgear.com.